Melanie? Pardon me? <laughs> Melanie Hawthorne? I can't believe it! You remember me? Ed Gottlieb! Eddie! You don't recognize me, do you? Ed Gottlieb, Eddie! No, I think there's been some mistake. Oh, no, no, it's me, it really is! I lost 60 pounds! Nobody recognizes me, it's amazing. No, I mean, I think you've mistaken me for somebody else. <laughs> I could never mistake that smile or those green eyes. God, you haven't changed a bit. How are you? I'm fine, but... You know the last time I saw you? Jill Simon's party, remember that? Ten years ago. What I'm saying is, I'm not who you think I am. My name isn't Melanie. <laughs> yeah, right. It isn't. My name is George. I never even went to the school. That's f You've always had a quick wit about you. I remember that. I'm serious. This isn't my reunion. I felt that way myself at first. You know, I wasn't the most popular guy at school. I was a loner. Not that I wanted to be. It just worked out that way. So I figured, maybe I shouldn't come to the reunion. But then I figured, <laughs> where am I going to be in 20 years? <laughs> I could be dead, right? So I came. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad you did, Melanie. I'm not Melanie. I'm George Martinez. I married Henry Martinez, Hank Martinez. <laughs> you married Hank Martinez? Yeah, he's doing the hokey pokey as we speak. I thought Hank married someone from upstate. He did. He married me. I'm from Syracuse. That's where we live. It's a six hour drive. Okay, so I got that mixed up. You got married down here and then you moved to Syracuse. No. I got married in Syracuse. I've never even been anywhere else. I've never even been in this town before. I know, it's really changed, hasn't it? You see the new movie theater? Yes, I did, but... You see the new camera store next to the movie theater? You know who owns that? Me. That's right. Always want to own my own camera store. One of my childhood dreams. You gotta take care of your dreams. I promised myself by my 10-year reunion I have my own business. And a size 34 waist. Then I'm getting there. How about you? Look like you ran it out a little, a little more buxom. Actually, I haven't even gained a pound in 10 years. Don't let it bother you. It's very becoming. I always said you're a little too thin. Not that I'd actually say that. I, I mean, it's not my place to say that. Maybe if we were going out, I'd... You don't remember me, do you? I can't remember you. I never even met you. Right. We didn't travel in the same circles. I mean, you were a cheerleader and in student council. And you wrote for the school newspaper. I mean, you were too busy to notice me. I was always hanging out in the audio-visual room anyways. I don't blame you for forgetting me. I wasn't that memorable. Look, Johnny. Eddie. Eddie, how can I get this across to you? We've never even met. I was not in your same grade level. I did not go to your school. I was not a cheerleader. I've never even seen you before. It's as simple as that. How can I get that across to you? What's your name? Melanie Hawthorne? Maybe she's inside. Maybe she stayed at home. I wish I would have stayed at home. 